Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I'm excited to film this weekend because I plan on decorating for fall and I'm also hosting a little, my little dinner club that I'm a part of. There's about eight of us and we take turns hosting meals throughout the year and it's my turn and my day is tomorrow. So I'm really, really excited about that. Plus my mom is coming into town over the weekend. So I'm just really all around excited. You may be able to see some of the mess of the house that I have going on around me. Um, so I definitely need to tidy that up. But today has been a bit of a challenging start, but the kids went down for a nap about an hour ago and I am impressed with myself and how much I have gotten done during their nap. So I started prepping food for my dinner club tomorrow. I started prepping food for dinner tonight. I put all of the guest towels and sheets in the laundry because my mom is arriving tonight and I want those to all be and smell fresh for her. Um, I got myself dressed and together. I cleaned up the kitchen and started the dishwasher. Getting it done. So while they continue to nap, I have a few more things on my list that I need to take care of, but overall it's going to be a productive nap. I can already feel it. And they went down later than normal um, and they went down at the same time. So I'm thinking if we could get like a solid two and a half or three hour nap out of the both of them, I mean, I feel like I could just rule the world. I could do anything. Also, I am wearing one of the new designs in my shop, my spooky season design. We have a similar design to this that has icons that says football season, and then it has like football related icons. And then we have one that says cozy season, and then it has like a mug, like cozy things, five little cozy things. So um, if you, this is one of the very best sellers currently. So I will leave a link to my shop below if you would like to go and check it out. All right, let's get to work, um, getting some more things done. I'm gonna pick up our bedroom and just, you know, it's just one of those things. But the fact that I have a guest coming tonight, even though it's my mom, and then like eight guests coming tomorrow or seven coming tomorrow, I've got a lot I need, <laughs> I need to take care of. Let's get it going. All right, I just picked up and cleaned our bedroom. We need to get that back and play out of there. We're not using it in here anymore, um, but it's all clean and I'm making myself some lunch. I also cleaned the guest bathroom and everything's still in the washing machine, the towels and whatnot. So once they're out, I will put them in the bathroom. I am making some lunch. I am having a root beer, yum. Does that not look amazing with the pebble ice? yum and some crackers and a wedge of cheese and then i am heating up some soup on the stove so it's going to be a yummy yummy lunch for me to enjoy while the kids sleep and then i will continue on with all the things i'm working on all right i've just finished resetting the guest room restocking a few water bottles i washed all the sheets there are some fresh towels i'm not walking so as not to disturb the vacuum lines on the carpet because of who I am as a person <laughs> um, but it's all nice and cozy for her when she arrives which should be in about the next 30 minutes and Riley's grilling some chicken that I marinated for dinner I'm closing the door so that dogs and babies don't wander in but we're all ready for her it's about 8 30 now and we just finished dinner <laughs> hi everybody Grammy is here I just got here. Nora was so excited. Well, we're going to decorate for fall here. I do this every year with her, just by the yeah, way. Yeah, definitely last year. And I think the year and before. The year before, because I came after Broken Bow. That's right. Every single year we decorate for fall together. So we. I'm waiting for you to come decorate my house for fall. I would love to. <laughs> it's just a really hard time of year for me to travel with, you know, everything else. Um, so I just got some boxes. I ordered these from Target. I literally hadn't even opened them yet. Um, and we just opened them and I'm going to get everything out and I'll show you what I got. Some new fresh things. Um, I wanted to decorate a little bit more neutral and use like using texture this year rather than the more obvious like using orange. So we'll see how it goes. I'll probably still use some orange because I have a box of that stuff. And, I, and they, these were on sale. Nora, shorts for Nora. They were only $3. Why not? So let me unpack some unpack these boxes and I'll show you. This everything. looks like those old tube tops we used to make when we were kids. Wow, that's risque. We used to make those tube <laughs> tops. Did you guys ever make those? Make it out of what? In home ec, because nobody knows what they were doing in home ec. In home ec, you were making tube tops with holes in them? 
okay, how many of you old people that are my age remember home ec? They never had No, it. yes I did. Remember I sewed that really ugly backpack? Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you remember? Well, we didn't know how to sew, so they bought the material that was already like this. You know, that smocky kind of material? Yeah. And then you stuck it around you, and then we put straps on it. No. Nah. And it was a shirt. Did you wear it? Well, yeah, I wore it. I had nothing. I was flat as a cord. But this reminds me, it's actually even like bent in. I know. It looks like it's actually giving you a little something. All right. <laughs> Let's unpack these home ec tube tops and everything else. So here's everything new that I picked up this year. I actually love it, seeing it all together. This is exactly what I was sort of envisioning was like more neutrals, but still had like a warmth of fall. So this was only, I think, like 3 or $5, and it's not great, but it will be cute. We can put it somewhere. Um, this little, I don't know, it's supposed to be like dried wheat, I guess. Tumbleweed. Um, and then this is the Apple Orchard Candle. I thought this glass was so pretty. I thought that was perfect for fall. And then a little mini wooden cake stand. I was kind of thinking like a little, little, I don't know, we'll see. And then I, these are my favorite of what I've gotten. These, um, what are they, rattan pumpkins? I love those. Uh, small one and a medium one. And then I got two ceramic pumpkins that are similarly oh, that's kind of neutral. And then this, we do not need more blankets in this house, but I loved this. I thought this was so pretty and it has big poofy ends and then like all the knit. And it's this really nice um, neutral sort of tan color, love it. And then, so all of that that I just showed you is from Target, and then these pillow covers are from Amazon. So I got this one um, that's like a textured tan and it has little fluffy kind of like diamond shapes on it. I thought that would be really pretty for fall. And then this is, it's going to be hard to tell because it's nighttime and the light, but it's an olive green. That's actually really true to color, what you're seeing on camera right now. Um, so perfect. So we are going to go ahead and get the room set up for fall. Um, the room meaning we're gonna, well first we're gonna turn off Daniel Tiger because mom and I don't wanna watch Daniel Tiger. No. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna do this back room first. I'm focused on this part of the house because I'm having that um, like dinner club tomorrow here. So this is where we'll be. So I want this to be nice. And then if we have time, we'll tackle the front room too, but. Can I share uh, something I learned? Yeah, I would love for you to. So, <laughs> I I'm wait. not crafty at all. But there's like decoupage or mod podge or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know what that is. It looks like glue to me. <laughs> you get a real pumpkin and you get um, paper napkins and you can get them like printed with any kind of print. So orange or like everything in my house is like blue and white. And you can buy really pretty navy and white um, regular paper napkins and you cut them in strips, and then at the top of each you put a little slit, and then you decoupage them on a real pumpkin. So the slit goes here on the stem, and then you bring it down and br bring it under and do one after another, and it sucks into the pumpkin on the like the decoupage. I have, I'll get you a picture and you can post it with this. It is so pretty. It, do it looks like paper mache pumpkins. Yeah, and the one that but you sent real. me, was what's it called? Is it called Shinaz? How do you say that? Shinwasere. Shinwasere. I would have said Shinazari. Shinwasere. Shin Which is like Shinwasere. A... <laughs> Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's what it was, right? It was beautiful, wasn't Be it? It was stunning. Oh, I, I forgot I sent it. To I you. never would have guessed that it was just. It's just paper cloth napkins. napkins. Yeah. Not cloth. I mean, you paper. know what I mean. Paper. <laughs> like that you can go buy in the store. <laughs> Like Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they have sh chinoise. Chinoiserie. I don't think they have that at Walmart. But you never know. Well, they have it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, really, I it really... It a, didn't it look pretty? It looked actually truly gorgeous. I really will put in a picture so you can see. Yeah. Yeah. We also need to get rid of, like, this just general clutter everywhere. We oh. bought this huge industrial shelf to put up in the laundry room to put the ice maker in because it just takes up, you know, quite a bit of counter space. And the way the shelf was hung didn't work with the studs and whatnot in our laundry room. So Riley has made a new plan and he is gonna try to tackle that, but it hasn't happened yet, which I understand. So anyway, it's still there, but the rest of all this stuff has gotta go. You can see my mom and I were having a little, little wine spritzer this evening. All right, let's get to decorating. I wish we had some paper napkins. 
I know. I was going to share my crafty little thing. I don't even know what what's it called, Mod Podge. Yeah, Mod Podge or something. Mod Podge. I think some people call it Mod Podge. These are things I've never had any experience yeah. with. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe really your thing. Brownies or Girl Scouts, like yeah, there maybe. were other people who were really good at that, and I'd be like, hmm, "What are you doing?" Well, you know, like the joke, like you either DIY or BUI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, American Sign Language! Wow. Okay. 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 We're gonna decorate now. <laughs> that really is. Okay, so I did the first take of our mantle. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, I think I like that. I think I really wanted those rattan pumpkins up there, but they're too short. Like online, they look taller. My mom is checking out of the decorating process, but I understand because it's 10:30 her time, and she's been up since like five or something. Um, so I pulled out some other things I'd like to put up. So these are the the more traditional fall color things that I have used in years past. Um, so I'm probably put these in the front room, but here are the pillows. So pretty, aren't they? I absolutely love them. And the, with the um, olive green and then this chunky throw is so, so cute. I really like it. And then this is the rest of the um, fall decor that I don't think I'm gonna pull out this year with a rogue leftover wedding sparkler from seven years ago that I probably need to get rid of. So I'll do this stuff in the morning. Um, we're both tired, but it was good to get this little bit done here. And um, I'll do a little bit more like cleaning up slash putting some things away, you know, tomorrow so that the house looks nice and pulled together. Okay, I got the final count for tomorrow and there's gonna be six of us, seven of us. I'm not including myself in the gift bags. <laughs> um, normally there we're a group of eight, but one of the girls isn't coming. So I did go ahead and buy these little pumpkin spice candle jars. These are from Target too. Aren't they cute? They're from Threshold. They're only $5 each and I thought that was just such a cute fall gift. Um, smells incredible. I love pumpkin spice candles. Love, love, love. So I'm going to dust them off because they're a little dusty because they were in that tube top wrapping paper. And then I got these. I thought these were cute. Um, brown craft bags with little gold dots on them and then I wrote everybody's name on a name tag and I'll tie it on here and I got some orange tissue paper and then I printed actually embroidered each of them in their size a shirt from my shop so that's going to be their little gift um that's Charlie barking because Riley just got home he went to do a few errands and he also picked up the shirts um for the girls so I'm going to go ahead and put these gift bags together with their little candle and the little shirt I think that's gonna be really nice so here are the shirts that I decided on they are the comfort colors berry long-sleeved t-shirts and I decided to embroider our pumpkin pie slice on them because I just stinking love this embroidery I think it's so cute and so perfect for fall and it looks so cute on the berry I just love it and I think they'll really love it too so that is what I'm giving them tomorrow. I'm gonna to get that all packaged up. Building castles out of sand, reaching for the grand.
it's Sunday afternoon now and I took a lot of clips yesterday but I didn't do a lot of talking because it was kind of a hit the ground running kind of day because I had my dinner club which was actually at lunchtime coming at noon and then <clears throat> a couple of girls who were like my co-hosts for this because that's kind of how we do it for this round were arriving at 11 so I needed to be like completely ready to go by 11 and between preparing all of the food cleaning the house getting the kids ready and sending them off taking a shower and getting myself you can just imagine so um all of that was going on and then I was still had wet hair and my co-host group was starting to arrive and so I went and got myself taken care of blow dry my hair got myself fully ready and then it was time to host it went so well let me talk you through the menu a little bit. I did take some footage of it. So um, one of my friends that was a co-host for this round, she brought a harvest salad and it was so, so incredibly delicious. It was like this like lemon champagne vinaigrette with like um, kale and dried cranberries and roasted butternut squash and pecans. And um, it was just amazing it was so good feta cheese so good and then for the main meal I made company chicken which is a recipe I've talked about on here before it is a family favorite in my family and my mom oftentimes makes it when we are having company over which is why we call it company chicken and everyone always loves it and yesterday was definitely no exception everyone was like this chicken is incredible it's like such a good recipe so we made, um, so I made company chicken, my mom and I did it together in the morning, and then I made Ina Garten's, um, I think they're called sour cream mashed potatoes, and I actually, we have a potato ricer, and I used that to make them like really fluffy, and they were so delicious, and then I did some lemon garlic parmesan green beans, um, so good, and then another one of our co-hosts baked a, de, a fresh, um, loaf of sourdough bread she makes sourdough and it was so yummy and then another one made this um it was a pumpkin cheesecake with ginger snap crust and then it had a salted caramel topping with pecans on top it was so insanely delicious it was so insanely delicious um, I have been back on Weight Watchers now, but I had been budgeting all week long for this event. I knew this was coming up, and so I had saved all, if you're familiar with Weight Watchers, all of my weekly points to be able to put towards yesterday so that I could really just sit down and enjoy this meal with my girlfriends, and I did, and it was wonderful. Um, and I made some decaf coffee to go with the cheesecake, and I made some sangria, um, and we had that. We kind of sipped on that as we you know, talked in the beginning before we got into the meal, but it was delicious. Uh, my friend Jenny, who you guys might be familiar with her name because she is baby Theo, who's now five, his mom. And she is like, she owns a micro venue and does like events and event planning and things like that sometimes. And so she has like such an eye for it. So she offered to do the tablescape and it was so gorgeous. Um, she did like velvet pumpkins and dried eucalyptus leaves and she had chargers and she had found this amber, vintage amber glassware um, at like an estate sale and it was just beautiful. It was so gorgeous. So we did that and she had like burnt orange napkins. And I just like loved it. We had such a nice time. We had such a nice time. So we did that all you know, afternoon from like noon to two or three or something like that. And then the rest of the evening I spent with my family and of course my mom's in town, which was it's just so nice. I felt bad that this was on um, the same weekend that my mom was in town. I actually invited her that she could come to, you know, to the, the luncheon, you know, stay at home to the luncheon. I'm having a hard time saying that. I invited her to attend, basically, and to, you know, come with us. But she was saying, you know, she's like, actually, I really want to go shopping in downtown. You know, our little downtown has so many cute little boutiques. She's like, I really want to go shopping. That actually sounds like a really nice afternoon, so I'm going to go and do that. So she did her own thing for a few hours, and it was lovely. Um, these girls that I get together with for this these luncheons, um, this like dinner club that I'm a part of, we've been doing for almost two years now. So it's pretty incredible. We've been really faithful to do it and it's been so nice. It's just, we don't see each other a whole lot outside of 
these meetings, these luncheons. And so it's really nice to just like catch up on what's going on and laugh and reconnect. And then there's not a lot of pressure um, because none of our lives overlap all that much. So there's not tons of pressure to get together like individually with each person. You know, we'll keep in touch and text and Marco Polo from time to time. Every once in a while I'll get to dinner with one of those girls. But it's just nice to know that I have these like pillars during the year where I'm going to get to see them. So anyway, it was great. It went so well. All the food was great. I'll leave recipes, you know, links to recipes below if you're interested in the harvest salad or the company chicken or the sour cream mashed potatoes, the green beans. I just made up the recipe, but they were really good. I did them in the air fryer, which is such a good way to do them because it just, they like retain, they don't get soggy, but they're just like, mm, so good. So anyway, that's the story. Um, I am going with my mom this afternoon to Home Depot to get some like mums and maybe pumpkins and things to start decorating um, the outside of the house. We did pretty minimal decorations this year inside because I have a toddler and an almost one year old and it's just not worth it. In fact, yesterday I had, I have this little fox ceramic statue. If you've watched my decorate with me for fall in years past, I've had it for a few years now and I had it out and Nora was playing with it and she dropped it and broke it and she didn't get in trouble because it's my fault I shouldn't leave a ceramic fox statue out if I don't want my toddler to touch it because it looks like a toy and so I was like you know I think just the minimal fall de decor that's up like on the mantle and pillows that you know can't be ruined that kind of thing is probably the best for these years um doing like the full out decorating it's just not it's not the time for that so but pumpkins and mums on the front porch will be really cute so that's a little update on everything. And, um, yeah, it's cold today. Like it's, some people will laugh. Other people in the South will understand. It's only like 67 degrees right now. So like there's a chill in the air, a chill in the air. It's been in the nineties for so many months. I'm just so relieved, um, that we're finally turning a corner. And yesterday was such a fall themed luncheon that I'm like, oh, we are heading in the right direction. We are here at Home Depot, my mom and I, and Kali boy. And I have decided that I'm gonna paint our front door today. So we are ordering some paint right now. <laughs> you like the flowers. <laughs> All right, Grammy, what are we up to? Okay, so we're at Home Depot and we are gonna get some flowers because I love to plant flowers at Blair's. And so she has a mailbox and the elderly lady on the other side has a mailbox too, but she never does anything with them. So we're gonna buy six flowers, three for Doris's house and three for Blair's. So I can't wait to put them in. Last year, when you were putting them in, I was nine months pregnant, sitting on the back of a bucket, just directing Watching. traffic, yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna get some potted mums to put out front and then eventually she can add the pumpkins to it. And I have to remind her to water her plants. Yeah, I. I really I said, just dump your water bottles in there that are in the car. Oh, that's a good idea. That's all I ever do. You come off out of the car and dump your water bottle. And we have Colin with us while Nora takes a nap with Daddy. All right, Colin is out here in his guava, which is like his pack and play, and he's playing with some animals. And my mom is getting ready to um, plant some things, and here are some decorations to go around the door. So here is the door color before. It's Benjamin Moore Wythe Blue. I've loved it for the past six or seven years, but I'm just really ready for the change. So let me show you the color that I got. It has some who's sitting in the back with the flowers and whatnot. This is the color, how pretty is that? It's like a really nice sage green. And the color is called Sage Green Light by Sherwin Williams, but I had a color match so that I could use Bear because I prefer Bear. So um, I am going to go ahead. I'm gonna first scrub down the door and get it nice and clean so it's ready for painting. Um, and then I'm gonna move on and go ahead and paint it. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna look great. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your head down Come closer, let me see All your million faces and all your million mistakes You don't need to hide Come closer so that we can
I've just finished doing a couple of coats. It's a like, let's see, it's 80 degrees outside today and not humid at all. So it dried, the first coat dried really quickly and I was able to go ahead and then just put on a second coat. I totally love the color. Of course, colors pull differently online than they do in person. So I'll pop in a color of the paint swatch. This is called Sage Green Light by Sherwin Williams. I'm really happy with it. This is exactly what I was looking for it was a nice sage green. I think it's gonna look so classy and pretty with our stonework on the front of our house with, and then the contrast of the orange with the green, like the orange pumpkins and whatnot with the green, like perfection, I can't wait to see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry and do a couple of touch-ups and then we will put the, put the door back. I'm so excited. This whole time since I decided to do this project, went to Home Depot to get the supplies and came back and did this, which was pretty quick, was like a little over an hour. Um, <laughs> Riley and Nora have been sleeping like they're taking a nap so Riley's gonna wake up and be shocked with a brand new front door color <laughs> but he'll love it this is like one of his favorite colors is green so I know he'll really like it so while I'm waiting for the door to dry I did a swatch of that color in here because I've been wanting just in this nook area to do an accent wall to sort of anchor it and create like a separation between the front of the house and the back of the house and I totally love it. So I'm just gonna go do it. You know, why not? goodness the paint is drying inside on the inside wall we did and this door was dry so we were able to hang it back up and I decorated with a hay bale that I picked up today at Home Depot and some pumpkins I got at our grocery store and the mums weren't quite ready yet but I'll put mums out soon enough and then the doormat is from Target does that not look so beautiful it looks great let me back up pretty with our stone doesn't it I just love the way that that turned out. I'm super pleased with that door. I just love the color. Really, really love it. Good morning from me and my new painted nook. I will show you this in detail in a minute. We're not done. We're, I'm getting a new console and all kinds of things. But this was our project yesterday along with the front door. Um, did I show you the front door, the final of the front door? I'll make sure to film that if I have not. Um, it was such a good day yesterday. We were all exhausted by the end of the day with all the painting and all the just impromptu DIY projects around the house, but it was really, really fun. My mom snuck out of the house this morning to go get in a workout and then to go up to my office for a quiet place to get some work done. And um, I have been at home with the kiddos and we did breakfast. Riley left for work recently. I just got them dressed. And we are actually going to head over to a story time that's going on this morning. You know how we love our story times. So we're going to go do a story time and then meet up with my mom for lunch. And then she doesn't have any work to do this afternoon. So we're going to try to head. Yes, one second, baby. We're going to try to head over to Target um, to pick out some decor for this nook area. So let me show you it, what it looks like so far. And um, we'll go from there. So we decided to just go ahead and paint the ceiling and the walls of this little nook, which is sort of like our entryway, even though we have this room at the front of the house, there's not a good place for like little entryway. So we've always used this as like our spot to drop things, you know, when you come in like sunglasses or whatever. I've always loved this mirror since ever since I got it a little while ago and it goes so beautifully with this green color, doesn't it? I know it's a little bit hard to see. I wonder if it's a little better coming from this way because the lighting. 
Um, but we went all the way up and around. My mom and I did all of it and it really didn't take long at all. We were using the dinky little roller brush I had gotten to do the door, but it's just such a small space that it didn't take very long. So I'm thinking maybe some coat hooks here. Um, I think we're gonna hang a picture here. I definitely wanna keep the mirror there. I'd like a different console table, maybe one that's wooden or black that kind of blends with the space a little bit more. The stark white I'm not really digging anymore, um, but I put these here because these will be so pretty against this green if we can find a way to display them. So I love that. And then if I haven't already shown the front door, here it is this morning looking so gorgeous. Love the color against our stonework and brick. It's just like so beautiful. So this is um, really looking good. Everything's a hot mess in here because we were focused on other things yesterday, but it was really good. So I'm going to load up the kids for story time here in the next couple of minutes. They're looking super cute. Nora's coloring. Colin's crawling around in some of his new clothes. He turned 11 months old yesterday and it, oh, I would be lying if I said it didn't give me a pang of sadness that his next one's going to be his first birthday. Colin. It's going to be my birthday. And then it's going to be your birthday. Don't let anyone forget it, sister. Ready? Here it comes! Oh. What'd you think of that? Here it comes. <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Gotta hold it tight. So we wrapped up story time and then we ate some lunch and we are currently at Party City. My mom has to pick up a few things for an event she's planning um, that's down here in Dallas this coming week. So I decided I would pick up a few things for the kids because we are doing a combined birthday party for the two of them in October. And um, the theme is going to be like under the sea sharks and mermaids. So I've just been picking up a few like some blue streamers and things. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna grab a couple things because how often do I come to party see? <gasps> oh, it's, the eyes are weird, cute. but the actual thing is cute. What's his other eye? We could pull the eyes off and just put a dot. It's this cute is though. Cute. I wonder if they have a mermaid one. I bet they do. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning now, and I am in such a good mood. I had my first personal trainer appointment or however you want to say it session this morning and I went home and changed into fresh clothing um, and then I had a reward for a um, free iced coffee I love that it. it's actually cold brew love it from Chick-fil-a so I went and got an iced coffee and I'm up in my office um, which I'm still doing Weight Watchers very faithfully, so I budgeted for this so I could enjoy it. But um, it was such a good session with my new trainer. I really liked her. She had a really, you know, you like the stereotype for personal trainers is like what you would see on, I don't know, like the biggest loser TV show or something where it's people who are very, very intense and they're in your face and they're yelling at you to do more and I think for some people that's like incredibly motivating and there's certainly a place for that but that is not gonna work for me like that's very overwhelming and stressful to me and the woman that I was working with today this trainer she was she had such a like gentle peaceful relaxing way about her in fact I walk in and I meet her and there's this precious 
precious dog following behind her. And um, she was like, this is my gym dog, Sadie. I bring her to work every time and she just will follow, come along with us. The cutest puppy. So we did like a 10 minute intake, like a point, you know, she, we sat down and she just asked me about my health history and all that kind of stuff. And um, the pup just laid on my feet. It was so sweet. And I was like, this is like so helpful for people who have like gym anxiety. I don't personally have gym anxiety. I used to work at a gym, so I find myself, I'm pretty comfortable in a gym setting, even though I haven't really been in a gym for four years. But for people who are really intimidated, having a precious little dog, like follow them around and lay at their feet would be like incredible. So anyway, it went really, really well. I'm going to be so sore, just jello. Like I was walking just in here after driving over to my office and my legs hurt so bad. <laughs> Oh man, but it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be really good, really, really good for me. And um, I think it's gonna help me achieve some of my health and weight loss goals, but I also know that it will help me with energy and just feeling better and stronger. And you lose a lot of, a lot of women, I don't wanna say everyone did. I lost a lot of strength through my two pregnancies. The last time I worked out in a gym was the week I found out I was pregnant with Nora. I don't remember if it was the day before or the day after, um, but then, and I thought, I remember, I think it was after because I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm going to be one of those women who works out throughout her whole pregnancy and I'm going to, you know, whatever. But then I was so sick. I was sick for about 20 or 22 weeks, more than half of my pregnancy with Nora. I was so, so, so sick. So there's just no way. And then I had Nora and then I call it, you know, the whole story. So this is like reclaiming something for myself to feel good. And I'm really looking forward to this journey. And I think it's going to be great. She said today that typically within three weeks, you won't get so fatigued and so sore after workouts. And within six weeks, you really will start to see a difference in your body, um, like in your clothing and the way that it fits and things like that. So um, six weeks is not a very long time. So I'm really, really, I, I think this is going to be really good for me. So um, backtracking to yesterday, I think maybe the last thing I filmed was when we were walking through like Party City. After that, my mom and I and the kids went over to Target and walked around and then to Home Goods and walked around. And I picked up in Target these two gorgeous, gorgeous framed, um, I want to say prints, but really it's like framed fabric rectangles. I will insert footage of what they look like. I, I saw them and immediately thought that's exactly the kind of thing that I want in this painted nook that we've done. Um, and so I wanted like oversized, like big art to make the space feel larger than it is, um, stacked on top of each other. And I wanted something with texture and I love that it's like framed fabric. So it's really pretty and, it, and the colors go really well with that sage green. And then on the other side, I bought some hooks to hang under the mirror we're going to move that console table up to the front of the house and use use it at the front of the house. And then that way we have a place to hang the diaper bag or the kids' coats when, you know, as it gets chillier, things like that. So it's going to be a really functional space, but it's really pretty. I like the way it breaks up the beige in our house. There's so much beige and cream going through the house. It's just really nice. Um, so love it. Totally love it. It's it was just a great weekend with my mom. We always have so much fun together and doing, she did some planting and then we did the front door together and then we did the nook together and um, decorated it with, it's just been great. I'm in a great mood. Wonderful, wonderful weekend. I mean, it's Tuesday now, but she just left this morning. So it sort of feels like, and Tuesday is my first like work day of the week. So um, anyway, although you might be able to see some like rogue toys because I did have to come up here for an hour or two yesterday with the kids and of course like just everywhere um so i will clean that all up but i feel good i feel good i hope you are having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this wherever you are if you haven't already checked out our fall line that we launched on etsy make sure to check that out we also have 
launched two mini lines this year. That's something we're gonna get into, doing mini lines instead of doing full launches, doing just a handful of designs. So we've launched a football mini line, um, but really it could be two of the designs are neutral. They could be for any sport. Um, so a football mini line, and then the other one is an education, educator mini line. And so that's perfect for teachers, educators, homeschool moms, Anybody in those categories I think would really love our education mini line. So check those out. I will leave a link to everything below. I will leave a link to all the things I've talked about in this vlog, including the art that I picked up um, for, from Target for the Nook. Um, I'll leave, a, not probably a link, but I'll write down the color of that um, paint in case you want to reference it, all those things. I will see you guys next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.